Yes. You have to be smart about the reactive abuse. And a lot of people fall for this because they don't know what it is, myself included. And for me, the reactive abuse videos was what almost ruined my career. So reactive abuse, and I've explained this um, in my previous video, but reactive abuse for those people who don't know is when they'll do something or say something to trigger you, to react in a certain way usually you are going to be over the top with your reaction because that is the level of trigger that they will trigger you and then once you react especially in today's day and age they will film it they'll film your reaction or maybe it's a conversation to where they don't want you to know that um, they are documenting, they will hide their phone or a recording device in their pocket, in the car, in the bedroom to record the conversation. And again, they will trigger you or put you on the spot to say something because they want to document that. That's reactive abuse. And this reactive abuse, like I said, it can happen in so many different ways. Maybe they have been um, telling a certain family members or telling your friends or co-workers that you are rude and disrespectful and abusive to them um, usually they are building a story they ha they have already started building their case before you even catch on so the reactive abuse or evidence or of the reactive abuse is um it's just evidence, I should say. The reactive abuse is just evidence for the story that they have already built against you. So let's say they are um, they are telling people that you're rude, you're disrespectful, you are <clears throat> just aggressive, and you are the narcissist in the situation. They will do something or say something to trigger you, something really mean cruel or evil to trigger you to where you're so mad you're so upset and then they'll start to record your reaction to what they started or maybe they'll even hit you when you go back to hit them they'll record the part that you were hitting them maybe they try to I don't know it could be anything but they will record your reaction or document your reaction or sometimes it can even be through text messages and they'll screenshot those text messages and send it out to people and say see I told you so in my case I was on the internet for the longest time I was an influencer doing my thing people know loved and respected me I'm usually calm cool collected I'm doing fun videos or educational videos that's what people knew me for so his thing was to tell people that I am aggressive and I'm the aggressor so he would do things start these arguments and he will do it and usually when i show up online i look decent i'm all about you know just looking clean and classy not over the top but i never ever film my videos looking a hot mess i don't just grab the camera with snot in my nose cold in my eyes my hair all you know i i'm well put together right so his thing was to prove the exact opposite of that so what he would do is trigger me in the worst way possible. Maybe it's early in the morning when I'm looking unkept. I just got out of bed. I had a two-year-old at that time. I'm trying to figure her out, make sure she's eating, make sure she's taking her bath, you know, just get her ready. And I'm looking a hot mess because that's how we all look when we get up in the morning. At least the most, the majority of us, we look regular when we get up in the morning. So he would trigger me to the point where I'm so upset, so upset, and I'm reacting, then he'll film it. And as soon as he starts filming it, he starts to play victim because that's the story he's trying to portray to people, that I'm aggressive, I'm abusive, I'm narcissistic. Then he all, all of a sudden starts to play victim. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Oh, leave me alone. Why are you following me? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And this whole time, because I wasn't hip to the game at that time, I didn't know. So I fell for it. I would get so mad. And again, even with that, you never ever know or think that the man who once proclaimed his love for you and the man who is supposed to be your protector is setting you up. You don't think that, you don't know that. And so 
Never in my wildest dreams did I think that this man would use these things to completely try to ruin my, just not my personal brand, but also my reputation and just just try to erase everything that people knew and love about me by showing a whole different side of me through reactive abuse. If you think that you're in a situation like this, run. And if you don't run, if you know that this person is trying to set you up, if the conversation just comes out of left field and they are acting funny or saying something triggering, don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. It's reactive abuse because there is a good chance they are recording that conversation. Um, they are filming the whole thing. And don't think they're filming it just for fun. They're filming it to use it against you tomorrow. And like I said, in today's day and age, it's going to end up on the internet. That's their goal. So yeah, you are absolutely right. Um, I think it's he, he we. Um, if I said your name right, you are absolutely right. Once you see it, and the people who know, know. It's so obvious that that's what they're doing. But again, you never, like, you don't think that far. You don't think that they're going to use this against you. You just think, oh, okay, maybe they are upset at the moment. So they are doing what they need to do. We're both ups upset. No, they are plotting against you. They have already started a case against you. And these evidence are going to be used against you later on. And the funny thing is, as I said in my other video, um, because a lot of these things are video evidence, people think that videos don't lie. All they have to do is film the video. Um, they never show what started the argument. They never ever show what started the argument. They start filming in the middle of the argument or recording in the middle of the argument. And then they'll use your reaction, post it to the internet. And now everybody's like, oh, why is she so aggressive? Why is she, uh, why is she this? Why is she that? And then because they know they're filming, you don't know you're being filmed. Or even if you know you're being filmed, you don't think it's going to end up, end up anywhere because you think this is the safety of your home. This is a private matter is between you and your partner. So because you don't know, you are acting, you are on cloud nine and they are very calm or at least if they're not calm, they're trying to uh, solicit more of that behavior out of you. So they're egging you on, egging you on the whole time playing victim. So yeah, reactive abuse is a, is a real thing. A lot of people don't know, but it's a real thing. Some of these people will try to use it against you later for child support. They'll try to use it against you later if you go, you know, to divorce them. And again, this can be men and women. Reactive abuse narcissistic abuse can be um victims are men and women it's not just men so a lot of these things are evidence that are going to be used against you later on if you all want to hear more make sure to follow me follow me on all my platform i have my link tree um in my bio follow me and i have a lot more stories to share with you guys um in upcoming videos but yes i agree with you Huey. <laughs>